Greetings, University Liggett School community. It's Bart Bronk, uh, head of school, uh, offering a, a video update on where the school stands uh, in a really uh, interesting moment of challenge in our school history and certainly in our nation's history uh, and where we're going to be going in the weeks ahead. Um, first of all, I hope this video message finds you healthy and well. Uh, if you or your loved ones or your family or friends have been, been in any way impacted by um, uh, the virus and, and its spread, uh, know that you're in our thoughts and in our prayers. Uh, we're also thinking about uh, and supporting all those who are in any way uh, involved in combating this virus. Certainly the medical professionals uh, in our extended family and the heroic work that you're doing, uh, but also those that are essential workers uh, in retail industries and, and uh, restaurant industries and food service industries, uh, all the different essential industries, transportation, uh, maintenance, uh, and infrastructure, uh, who are uh, having to leave home every day uh, to keep our society functioning uh, while the rest of us uh, shelter in place and, and, and are able to stay safe and stay healthy. And so uh, to all of you essential workers with a capital E, I say thank you. Uh, we love you and we support you. Uh, a little bit about school. It's been a really, uh, needless to say, a really interesting time, uh, a moment in our school uh, life. Uh, Governor Whitmer, Governor Gretchen Whitmer of the state of Michigan, uh, closed schools um, on Friday, March 13th. Um, and more recently extended that closure uh, through the end of the school year. Uh, and the University of Liggett school year ends uh, this year on June 6th. Um, and, and so we've had to adjust. Uh, and what we've created uh, is a pretty robust platform for online learning. Um, uh, and so our teachers did really uh, yeoman's work uh, over their two weeks spring break, the last two weeks of March, uh, to deliver and create a wonderful online learning platform uh, using some advanced technology tools um, so that our students uh, can continue their learning and growth um, through this period. Uh, and so it is a remote learning platform. Uh, students are at home. Um, but the three uh, points of emphasis for this program for us um, have been um, connection. Uh, we wanna make sure we connect with students as frequently as we can. And so for many of our students, that means following their normal schedule uh, and entering video classrooms. Uh, engagement, we wanna make sure this, this is a moment of engagement uh, for our students, that they continue uh, to be enthused about their work they're doing together, and also growth. Uh, we don't want this to be a meaningless time. We want our students to continue to grow so that when we are fortunate enough to return back here uh, to the halls of, of our building on Cook Road, uh, and we can continue to do the magic we always do, um, that our students will be prepared for that. Um, it is not a perfect approximation of what you remember uh, as your experience here or your ch children's experience here, um, but it's pretty good. Uh, and our mandate has been to do your best, and that's a mandate to both faculty members and students, uh, and to get a little bit better every day. And so we're two weeks in, uh, and I've been just really, really proud uh, of the work that's happening. I've been proud of our students uh, for their flexibility, and their willingness uh, to try something new and fully engage. I've been proud of our families for their outstanding support that they've provided to us. Um, and I've been really, really proud uh, of our faculty and staff. I don't know that I've ever been prouder uh, of a group of incredibly dynamic, talented, and creative people um, that have taken a challenging situation uh, and made the best of it. Um, and that's all that any of us can do right now. Um, I'm heartened when I think about our long uh, institutional history. We have been through 142 years uh, as an organization. Um, those 142 years have included pandemics. Um, in fact, uh, you know, I think about uh, the Liggett School and Detroit University School, which both uh, survived the Spanish flu pandemic of, of 1918 and 1919. And by the way, uh, after surviving uh, a world war. Uh, even Gross Point Country Day School was founded in response uh, to uh, a, a whooping cough uh, epidemic in the city of Detroit in 1915. Um, and so pluck and resiliency and, and bravery in the face of challenge is really part of our institutional DNA. And it gives me great confidence um, that we will move through this challenge um, with that same. Um, one of the things that I am sure has always been important and I know is important right now uh, in the face of challenge and in the face of, of, of sort of uh, an earth shifting moment for all of us uh, is the support of our greater community. Uh, and so if you're receiving this message, that means you're a part of that community, you're a part of the extended University Liggett School community, whether it, you're an alumni, a parent, a parent of alumni, a friend, a grandparent of, uh, of alumni, um, we are so blessed to have a community that supports us uh, in so many remarkable ways. And it's, it's probably the thing about which I'm most grateful for in my position as the, uh, as the steward of this long legacy. And so I thank you for that support. Uh, I'll thank you in advance for continuing that support, uh, which will be really important um, in the weeks and months ahead. Um, I continue to wish you well. Uh, we're here if there's anything that we can do for you. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, stay safe, stay healthy, um, and go Knights.